In this video, I'll show you how you can easily migrate your WordPress website from one server to another in four simple steps. And best of all, the tools I'll be using are totally free and incredibly easy to use. So if you're ready to get started, then let's go over to the computer and take a look at step one. So let's just quickly take a look at the sites we're working with. So this is the source site. As you can see, everything is set up, styled, designed, everything we want. We go to the destination site. This is just a clean copy of WordPress with nothing else installed. That's all we have. So that's what we're working with. We come to the dashboards just to make life easier. I've got them color coded. So they're slightly different. So you can see when we switch between the different source and destination, just to make things clear. First thing we need to do is install a WP Vivid backup and migration onto both the destination and the source websites. So we're on the destination. And you can see, install this. Once that's installed, we'll simply activate. And there we go, that's now activated. I've also done the same thing on the source site. You can see this is already installed. Next, in the destination site, we need to create a unique key that we're going to use to link the two sites for the migration process. To do that, we come to the key tab and we simply choose how long we want this to be before it expires. We're gonna set this to two hours and then we're gonna click generate. That will then generate the code that we need. So what we need to do now is simply copy that and then we can put that into our source site. Switching back to our source site, we're gonna open WP Vivid Backup, choose the auto migration option. And all we need to do then is paste in the key. So we're gonna right click, choose paste, and we'll save that. Next, you can choose what information you want to transfer. You can see we can choose between database and files, WordPress files, or only the database. So depending upon the type of transfer or migration you may want to undertake, you can choose whatever option is right for you there. We're gonna leave this to the database and files and we're gonna click clone then transfer. Now it's worth bearing in mind before you do this that you disable any redirection plugins, firewall and security plugins or caching plugins because they can cause some issues. And secondly, just make sure that you have plenty of space on both the source and destination websites for the backup, the migration and everything else that's involved. That's generally one of the biggest reasons why these backups and migrations will fail. With that in place, we're going to click on clone and then transfer. And we're going to let this then run through the process of cloning the site, uploading everything, and then getting through the process of where we can restore and migrate. Now you can see this tells us the connection is okay, where it's connecting from and to, and the whole process of how long it's taken to do everything. Now this stage of the process can take from several seconds to several minutes and maybe even longer, depending upon various different factors. Factors like the size of the site, the speed of the connection, how long it takes to transfer between the different servers and so on. So you may have to take a little bit of time to let this complete. But once everything is done, you'll be notified to let you know that everything is now completed, transferred over and we're ready to complete the final stage. The final step, we're back into our destination site. We're gonna to come to backup and restore, scroll down to backups and we're just gonna say scan uploaded backup for received backups. And there we go, there's our backup being transferred from our source to our destination. All we need to do now is click on restore and let this go through the process of restoring our site. So we'll hit restore, click okay. That's gonna go through everything now. All those files have been transferred or migrated over. We're gonna let this complete. We're gonna check things out. And there we go. After 10, 15 seconds in this example, we're told everything is completed. We'll click okay. We can now log in with our original details from our source website. That then takes us back into the site. And all we need to do now is just check everything out. So let's just take a look, let's visit our site. And there we go, this is our test site now, been migrated over. And as you can see, everything is in place. Our pages are set up, all our software is installed. Everything has been migrated over with just four simple steps and a free plugin. So now that you've seen how to quickly and easily migrate your WordPress website, you should be all set. If you found value in this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button, smashing the bell icon to be notified when I release more content like this. But if you didn't find it useful, well, you can slap that thumbs down button twice as that works pretty well too. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.